Hello and welcome back to Machinki. We have a lot to do today. Yeah, an absolute ton of things to do. Probably lots of tons of coal being taken there. Hopefully, uh, that should maybe boost our throughput of coal tokens, which is important. They are going up a little bit quicker now. Are we keeping up with demand? We might need a bigger train. We could... Uh, we could speed up everything, couldn't we, by adding a coal hopper here. Yes, so uh, welcome back to Machinki. We are in the third era now, of course. Um, I, I wanted to get straight into it, you see. Uh, there's so much I want to do. We've got to get, uh, before we do all this, we're going to come back here for a, for a good reason. And we've got an old train here that really isn't keeping up with demand of the of the stations we've got 426 people crammed onto a single platform oh dear so it's like the middle of london or i don't know what the equivalent of a u.s station will be we're, we're, we're kind of in the u.s but given that we've got aberystwyth now on the map and wigan we we might have uh, we might have merged into into the uk but that's okay we don't mind we don't mind yeah, we set all this up and our platform is filling up. Not very quickly. We we have any extent we don't have any extensions on. What we should do then is uh Oh look at that. That's beautiful. We could rotate that right and have it along the platform. Yes. Should we get like a ton of these on? Notice how expensive things are. We're gonna have more nodding donkeys all over the place. Can we have one up there as well? Oh we, we can have a but oh there's three together. It's got to be there, right? Spin them around, get them all nice. Oh, I like it. Look at how it's a it's a complete donkey fest. We love it, or I love it anyway. Okay, that will increase the throughput. While we do that, should we get uh, freight on? So if it takes me a little while, we can uh, we can we can have a lot to take once we have our first train running. Like I said, I think double heading BRs. BR3s on here. Might be a bit of fun. At least we get to see them. Would you like to see them? I would like to see them. Little BR3s. Should we get a... Uh, I mean, this is begging to be a place for a uh, depot, isn't it? We can we can upgrade our trains and everything if we take them into there. What we got here? What is this? This is new. Wait, we can build shops? What is this? Is that a shop? It needs to be placed in a town. You can add... Right, I was going to say, no, let's get this done. We should be making this, shouldn't we? I like this little lump I've got going. I don't really. I absolutely don't. Let's fix that before we get a train on there. I, I, I don't like that, do you? It's a, bit, it's a bit pointless given that we're bags of cash now. Get rid of that. Let's get our uh, flattening tool out. We'll, we'll get rid. Beautiful. Make sure we're always using high speed. We have no need for any other speed rail. We're just going to do it like that. Beautiful. I, I do, the auto blocking in Machinki is rather nice. I do love that. As I keep saying. Anyhow, let's get us a depot in then, guys. We are going to put it in here. This looks like the perfect place for it if we if we give a bit of distance and we might i thought i'd put it around the wrong way then that would have been fantastic yeah if we give it a bit of distance away from the track we can maybe uh set up a way to to get back in quite nicely not there obviously oh come on really why won't you connect into there i thought that would have been a, an okay connection i guess not we could do something like that that didn't go according to plan. It's bang in the middle, though. We might just need a little bit more distance away. But, hey, we've got the money, haven't we? We've absolutely got the money. It's a learning curve. We'll see how, how far we need this away if we do that bit first. Right? If we go like this first, that makes more sense. Not really? This? Ah, there we go. Got it. Got it, just a little bit of a quirk, and that's bang in the middle then. And then we'll get our depot, and all is okay. There we go. 
and hopefully we'll be able to do something similar for this side and, and I'll try not to, to mess it up this time there we go we do that and this should work <laughs> come on really you you should work I can see it. there it is there it is we got it a little bit of a bigger triangle but I'll take it all right we've got it going let's get us some uh, lovely signals on here otherwise we're going to trip over we need one there and one coming in and one there possibly and one to release the trains and this way we're going the other way so one there one coming in that way we're doing the right way around otherwise we're gonna fall over aren't we there we go well that's close enough there don't really want to do something here do we or do we no well we could just keep an eye on what we're doing right only take trains in and out when it's we know it's clear remember that grand in the future future grand remember this is uh potential problems right let's get our br3 on we, we can go in beauty mode for this can't we we've got all these lovely uh signals now and i do like the uh, lights engines let's do it now a br3 it only costs oh well i say it only costs 300 cash tokens however do you remember when we started when we were only paying 40 40 tokens for a train no longer do you, oh, do you know what you haven't put on your plonker right get in here extensions get a locomotive works on there we go there we go that's what we're missing anyhow yes there's the illustrator it's back we need to we need to get a br3 on we need to put these in our uh, in our museum as well these new trains i think we've got every train in our museum except for the new one they they take three cash to operate which is probably good because we're going through cash nowhere near quick enough are we you may think to yourself well what's the point of cash at, at this this stage of the game well i mean it is pricey you've seen that it was cost a thousand coins or cash tokens to upgrade one of our stations the uh, oil well wasn't it i think it was a thousand yeah but there are there are changes to machinki coming where there's going to be uh, upkeep for various things it's it's on the drawing board so don't get carried away with the cash at the moment you may need to uh, improve and keep up with passenger services before release or even at release I don't know when we'll see that but that will certainly add a little bit of uh, we've got it blue because my company's blue uh, that's beautiful isn't it BR blue now these carry uh, 252 tons and the, the, I mean, a porter only carries 168, and a Baldwin only carries 224. A Rusian, for instance, carries 306. The, uh, these carry 252. I mean, <laughs> right, here's the thing that you're saying. Well, that, it makes more sense to run this, though. You're, you're probably right, but we want to have a look at these. Or I want to have a look at these. We've got to get them on, right? We've got to get them on. We'll buy two, and uh, oh, you can do it in here never knew that is that new i don't remember being able to do that i thought you always had to go back to info to do it never mind uh you learn something new okay right let's go down here then what are we starting with crude oil still no t still no tool tip i need the help <laughs> well it's got to be these right it absolutely have has to be those we need to keep this open because we need to keep an eye on the weight i mean it's going to cost us six to run this it, it's to me it doesn't seem like a good train to have at all but uh, for science and and so we can see like all the trains running around we're gonna have one how many can we fit on here anyway hopefully a lot oh goodness me these these little dudes can carry so much this is brilliant oh what that's one too many brilliant we need to take a brilliant off that, that's what i'm calling it right get back to here one done all right we've got 9.47 on our length and uh we're carrying 476 tons loaded let's get you some orders and we'll, we'll look at our little br3 come out with a ginormous train of tankers yes brilliant 
get on there. You go in there first and you just get, get going. I almost said get good, but that makes absolutely zero sense. Okay, you're going to do the little circle of, uh, of joy there. We haven't got to go far, have we? So it's kind of a good place for these. Right, we've already got 292. You only carry 91 tons. There they go. Look at them. <laughs> oh, they're awesome. Little BR3s. Do we like those guys? Choo choo! We could get on board, couldn't we? Let's get on board. Uh, it's this one. Can we get it inside the cab? Uh, oh, there's there's no there's no controls in these, not yet anyway. I'm sure he'll add them as you you can drive these later on. That's another thing on the drawing board for release, being able to actually manually control these. Oh, they're still a bit jerky around corners as well. So this this is probably not a good ex experience for everybody. I wonder why there's an, an extra light there. What's the other one used for? Is that perhaps for the future? With the little electric box down there, because we've got electrics now. Do are we do we like our BR3 super train? He's he's pretty cool, isn't he? He's pretty cool. He's gonna uh, he's gonna get through that. We're already at maximum capacity on the on the platform there. However, we'll keep an eye on this. This is gonna get us going. And creating our first first barrels we're only making one barrel for every two of these so 91 divided by two doesn't really go fill half a barrel extensions is there anything we can do we don't want to deal with extra goods oh that well I say that that does turn oil straight into two goods in a barrel a, a, a barrel token an oil token this one might be okay. It's three for three. Uh, and it looks very, very, very impressive. That has to go in. Let's look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. The, the flames coming out the top. I love it. That should give us a little more. There we go. Five, four. That will give us a little bit more value out of our crude oil. There we go. We're underway. Once this side starts filling up, We'll, uh, we'll set up a consist to take it to the station uh, near Detroit. Yes, that's not what I meant. The factory near Detroit. We might need to do something on here as well. Oh, well we can do this one. It gives us an extra goods, which we're going to deal with. We are going to do something with goods. I'm not sure whether they stop producing if the platform is full of goods. Or whether it just, you know, ignores the goods. But it would be kind of cool. Because I have to remember, I'm not just playing on my own now. And I don't really do this when I play on my own. I don't really build up a city when I play Mashinki. However, for you guys, I think it'll be a bit fun, right? Let's see how big we can get one of these cities. And do you know who it's going to be? The Twin Churches of Mesa. We're going to turn this modest little town into something massive. I mean, it's got a coal mine in it too. Do you like that plan? Is that is that something a little different? We could we could absolutely make use of the coal mine though. I should have perhaps used that coal mine for for the tool works up here. In fact, there's nothing that can that, that can stop us now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right then. So. We've got this going. We're going to keep an eye on whether we can keep up. It looks like we might keep up. Our little BR3s might keep up. Maybe we should get a, bit, a little bit more headroom. I mean, you, you, you really are just splitting hairs at that point, aren't you? If it just goes over and, and just about keeps up, then I think that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, do you know? There you go, and away he goes. I love it. Go straight through the fields. Uh, it's going to take us a little, a little while to fill this uh, platform up. But as soon as we've got uh, what I would consider a train load on there, we'll, we'll get it going. We do want one of these, don't we? We want it to look all sorts of fancy. We'll get one of those in there. 
Uh, what else could we do? Um, um, we could put a signal box on. I don't mind that. Let's put a signal box. We can afford this now. Look at our lumber tokens, guys. There we go. What the the good thing is, we we're getting this doing. We're getting this doing. We're getting this going, and we're now collecting. We're now delivering oil, which uh, to Ewing, which is of course Dallas. It is Ewing. Almost sang the song. I don't know whether you get copyright strike for a Dallas theme. Maybe. Let's not put a waiting room on or a restaurant. They are pointless. This might be a possibility. Look how much coal we've got. I know, distracted. Get it good at being distracted. I kind of like it. Mainly because it just gives you a bit of headroom. Because I'd like to go away while, while that's filling up. No, that actually, you've got 80 on there. And, and you're really stocking up on the old oil. This is going to be done shortly. So let's get our train underway, because it's probably going to take me a couple of minutes to build a train. <laughs> it's a shame we can't use these yet. However, we've still got some lovely steam trains that don't, don't do half bad. Let's have a look at the wagons. We're going to be taking barrels of oil. There's a Warren 2. We're going to have... Uh, we're going to need another platform, aren't we? No, you, no, you're not. It's over here. We're going to need the other platform. We're going to need the goods platform. Possibly. I still don't know. If it keeps making the, these oil tokens, we're in no rush. But I do want to get Mesa huge. Now, the Warren is 40 ton and carries 12. All right. I mean, it's heavy, obviously. A big old tanker. So, should we go with a nice GS2? Or should we, uh, should we go for a Rusion? Class 65 is our go-to. Two Class 65s are kind of nice. They're not as uh, not as good though, are they? As a single, as a single, I'm not sure now. Are they as good as a single GS2? Single GS2 can carry up to 863. However, it weighs 370 tons that it already starts with, just with this beasty thing. Now the uh, the class 65 kind of works out a little better. And given it's a short distance, comparatively, these are good for long distances, these. Because once they get up to speed, they then uh, they then become the better of the two. It's like the BR3 is only 30 tons. Aha! Yeah, these are 140 tons, for instance. Yes, this is the... I keep forgetting about this, guys. I'm going to do better at uh, remembering to look at the weight, because it's key. You can't just look at this weight. What can you carry? You've got to look at this and the power and all of that business. Also the length. They're only 0.45 of a tile. And for, for example, the Baldwin is 1.1. So the, yes, they're good little trains. All right, we uh, we did that. And it's, it's, what? Now we've got to, excuse me? I think that didn't up the, it, it should be showing as barrels now. But anyhow, we've got to take oil to any factory, which is what we're about to do. So we're going to get rid of this guy. I, I, I did it for science. I know it's a waste of money, isn't it? We'll get some some of some of it back at least. All right, we're going to sell you, and we're gonna we're gonna buy a two plus sixty fives. There we go, and we like them, and we can do that, which is beautiful. There we go. They carry six hundred and ninety three. Oh. I don't know on the math here. I really don't. I, I should work it out. I should really work it out. I wish it told you the uh, the weight without the, the train weight. Like in brackets or something. It's just lazy though, isn't it? I, you, you, you might as well use a calculator or your, or your brain. If you've got a, a calculator brain. Or remotely paid attention at school. Then uh, you can work it out yourself. Right, let's get these on. I'm just waffling now. How many can we fit on? Probably quite a few. Right, we're going to keep going. There we go. We're getting close. Uh, one more. Oh, they're 40, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Do you know, we could have probably fit like a another wagon on the back there. 
at the risk of uh, that taking a little longer we might pull that back in and, and put another one of these on obviously not these but the oil versions yes that might be an idea anywho we've got 40 we'll take it slightly over given the distance that might be worth it that might totally be worth it let's do it I mean why not right we're only seven tons over I say only seven tons we'll see how it runs guys and we can always bring it back in and fix it up right you're going there and then you're going there let's hope he goes into the right platform he should do because he's got to go here first which means he'll go that way rather fortunate it's almost like I planned it that way <laughs> I wish I had I wish I could take credit for uh, for planning that awesome leap however it was just a fluke I, if we'd have come over onto that side of the, the, the platforms I would have put the warehouse there as well I'll admit it well you're looking all right you're obviously going to run at full speed when you're empty I mean you're you're a decent size aren't you these two uh, I think are gonna work wonders with each other there we go we're picking them up which means we're not gonna get full we'll check the speed because he's gonna be absolutely chock-a-block was there a hundred and four there was more than 144 on that there we go right so he's overweight and well, he didn't he didn't lose any speed doesn't he do 53 miles an hour anyway oh but he is struggling to 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 pull away i see a little bit right because he's heavy these are an amazing trains what is the class 65 is it a german train perhaps it looks kind of german very beefy there we go, there goes our first delivery. Green light. Gonna be uh, switching to green light there. I am all sorts of uh, interested to know why this has got three aspects on it. Almost feel like that one's a yellow. You can even have a double yellow depending if they're LEDs. I was gonna stop the train, that would have been a bit silly. Or is it 64 he does? It might be 64. Let's have a quick look. Is it 64? No, it is 50. That's uh, 64. That, that's the, the GS2 doesn't even do 64. Anybody? Where am I getting 64 from? No way. You're just pulling numbers out of the sky. Okay, what we could do though here, we, I, I forgot, didn't I? We could have a freight station on here to speed things up quite nicely. And since we're oversized, we could have a signal box we'll get that on we, we can extend the station back there if need be I think we're all right though I just want to put it in there for future future expansion I think we're gonna do all right though do we want to worry about storage how much we got probably oh we've already done that we did it in like right we did that straight off Ewing we are glad to gain a new partner in the... I was going to almost do a Texan accent. But I won't because I'm not very good at one. Oil is... Alright. We are glad to... No. There we go. That's all you're getting. Oil is the future and the sector is growing all the time. You'll be hearing from us again. John Ross Horse Fry. Thank you, John Ross. Select an option. Ooh. Okay. We have modified... Two t Let's pause this quickly. I don't know if any of these are timed. Good day. Good day. No, it's not. It's not Australia. Good day. Yep. See, I've, I've, I've tried. I've tried a Texan accent and an Australian accent, and both were a bit miserable. Should we get on with the reading? As you probably know, earlier this decade we introduced a state-of-the-art diesel locomotive, the BDZ, or BDZ, 52. We are currently finishing our latest upgraded version of the 52, which we are starting to test in operation. Right, we've read this one before. Uh, as you already use some 52s, we don't. But anyway, Lenny Carlson, BD, oh, he's from the company. Use the modified 52 plus to transfer passengers to, a oh yes, this one. I remember this one. So we're gonna double head these. 
we're going to double head two times BDZ 52 pluses and we're going to take them to eight different passenger stations and uh, if we succeed we'll give you that locomotive and another oh no we, we just use one right use the modified the single right yeah we could do this absolutely receive your new locomotive at any depot obviously we're not going to collect that at the museum because we have we have to um i think you have to take it eight new cities i mean i don't think you do it's just easier in case the platform's empty so anyway we're going to be doing that we've also got this one the region we've established ourselves in has joined a government program to subsidize the construction of railway railway infrastructure this extra money is another great opportunity for us to expand our network peter etterborough hometown he's from he sounds like he's almost like peterborough the network of the uh, mascot peterborough uh, the, the, the posh anyhow build 200 pieces of track progress the, the, this kind of ties in with this right because if we we go and take them to uh, eight new cities then we're going to be laying possibly more than 200 200 pieces of track right then so we've got that set up we're gonna have to set all this uh, passenger network up i don't know where we're going to set it up we should have a look first we don't need to be in uh, this view for that do we do we have eight cities that are kind of unoccupied or at least have full platforms i would like to try that this is mail on it no not you there's one up here we could start at worcester oh good good night yeah we're gonna deliver this as well greetings my friend greetings my friend my name is william shonker but you can just call me william no you can call me just william just william you mean <laughs> that looks like his first name is just and his surname is william just william hello just william i've invested in the construction of factories and i would like to distribute everything deliver all my merchandise to the towns around us i want people to be excited about these new goods this will be so good i can't wait so william shonker the or just william the manufacturer we're gonna have to uh, transport goods to three different cities three different cities Okay, well we could probably find some more cities to grow. Perhaps the pairing of the two that we've got with Mesa there. They could end up just being one giant city if we're not careful. But yes, we've got uh, quest galore, haven't we? These must be all of our third era quests pretty much. They're, they're tough. They're tough. We're going to have to figure out, uh, which I'll probably do. We're getting towards the end of this episode. What I'm going to do then to save us some, some time is for the next episode I'll pick a nice route for us to take some passengers uh, it doesn't oh, we've got some nice close ones there I mean it doesn't really matter we're just going to have like a train of of cities I mean we can go there there's one two three um, four absolutely five six <laughs> seven eight uh well, that's kind of a we'll, we'll have that as a line and i say we service it properly this time i think i kind of went meh hooked it up last time didn't do anything with it this time we're gonna have like a main line like uh the where are we i i uh, does it have a north and west on this i think that's north right i don't know but anyway, this would be like the East Coast Main Line almost. No, it would be like Cross Country. I don't know what line that would be. Obviously, good night. Okay. Travel five minutes inside one of your trains. Well, there we go. I mean, should we end with that? We'll do that. We'll spend five minutes inside one of our trains. I think you can fast forward it too, right? Which, in the same time, we can see how this is progressing. And we're starting to get the barrels. You know what that means, don't you guys? You know what that means? That means we will be able to buy some diesels. We're going to need much more throughput than this. You're getting loads on there. I would like to, uh, yes, I would definitely like to add this on. Because I'm not going to pay attention 
I can see it now. I would like to travel on something that isn't a short distance though. And somewhere busy. I mean, these two are fine, but they're kind of dancing around each other. This one's lovely, isn't it? This is our big old busy area. And this one kind of intersects with everything, doesn't it? Oh, no, no. Do you know what does? The uh, This train, this choo-choo. Let's get on. We're going to kind of end five minutes of this. I know. <laughs> but we do have plans and we can we can talk about that and we can we can fast forward it right we can go this fast when we get to the station let's pin this see if it counts when we're fast forwarding i think it does we did it before didn't we yeah it is so when we're at, we, when we get to fill up it's, it's going crazy fast when we're filling up we'll put it on its fastest and then and then we'll speed round now, if we put it on normal speed, you'll see it slows down again. I don't think I can sit here and talk for five minutes. It's a, it's a bit cheaty, isn't it? But we have to be on the train. We can't, we can't do anything. i tell you what. I'll edit it out until it's like the last 20 seconds. There we go, guys. And then we'll end it. All right, we've let, let a bit more time go. We're playing on normal speed because I'm a silly sausage. It doesn't change the speed anymore. When you fast forward it, the time does not go quicker at all. Yes, look, you change it. I don't know what I was looking at there. It looked, it seemed like it was going faster, but it is not. Uh, there, there is some uh, issues on this network I've been looking at while we've been sat here. So I needlessly speeded it up. <laughs> so we've, we've progressed through the time a little bit. However, the... Uh, the, the plus side to that is if we take a look at our token count now we have quite a few barrels of oil in there ready for some new trains yes so definitely in the next episode is going to be lots of uh, lots of diesels that we're going to be bringing in and looking forward to that it, it, it i do like it around here i've only got a few more well just a little over a minute but uh yeah if you Actually, what we could do is F11, we can hide the UI for a bit. If you look around here, when we're about to turn around at the end of this platform, there you can see the nodding donkeys in the distance, which I thought was rather cool. I don't know which oil um, well it is, whether it's one of ours, but it just... It's starting to build up. Now, when we move eventually into the fourth era, we're going to get even more factories. I don't know what the new factories are in the fifth era. Don't spoil it, guys, in the comments. I'm looking forward to seeing those, and I've got no idea what the trains are either. I believe it's electric, though, with something to do with electrics. I'm looking forward to that. We've got a little bit of a foresty area there, haven't we? And we've got some hills. It's not entirely flat map. And we're obviously on our high-speed track at the moment. There's still the standard track there in semaphores. But there you go, there, in the distance, we've got some noggin, nod, nod, nogging, nodding donkeys on the hill, some oil wells, the pumps there. Now, the, given that they're not moving, I would say that that's one we're not servicing at the moment. We've also uh, got our wells over here. Anyway, how are we doing? Have we, uh, have we nearly completed this? We have. I, I, I must have been speaking for ages. Should we, should we quickly jump off? Uh, can, 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 can we get off? I want to get off. Let me off. Okay, there we go. Let's collect our reward. Oh, yeah, we got a BR3. Well, do you know what we can use you for? I love that. Let's go uh, over to our... Um, where are you? Will this count? Oh, do you know? I don't know. We'll use him. We'll, we'll use him. Do you know where we might use him? On here. He, I don't know whether he's keeping up. We could triple head it. Oh, I don't know now. No, I'll tell you where I might use it. Taking goods from here. No, no. We'll, we'll no doubt have another situation like this and we'll use it for that. Do we, in fact, do we have one close to here? Um, so we could use that same depot. We have a, an oil, another oil well here. We have another one up there. Uh, that, see, that's close. 
This here is like super close as well. This might be one to use it for. Yes, so you know what we'll do. We'll, we'll set up another platform because we, we need a lot more throughput than this. So we'll quickly set up another platform in preparation. Can we go along here? Because that would be great. Yeah, and we can ignore the slopey slopes and we'll have a nice little brick siding there. I like it. He's going to start building that up. Uh, where, where is the where is the refinery up there? We're going to take you over here towards the refinery. It's a little bit of a longer run, not too much longer. So you're going to go there. We're going to put in a depot just here, like so, and we're going to give it the the full the full locomotive works. And what we'll do is we'll go to our bonuses and we'll get the BR3 in there in preparation and it won't cost us anything to run that so we've got that going for us there we go right then guys that has been a very busy episode setting up this uh, this is what we set up this is what we need to get going it's not complete as i said we're going to go to mesa but we, i got completely distracted by a whole bunch of quests that came at us we are going to use this bdz 52 plus and I, I've highlighted the route we're taking, starting at Detroit, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go down to Baton Rouge, and then all the way around the houses. Where do we end up? It's down here, right? We end up at Scottsdale. Fortunately, apart from Wigan, they all look to be at least American, and Durham maybe maybe not American. Anyhow, yes. Let's look at our new oil facility. I'll stop spinning the, the camera around. I've lost it, guys. That didn't take long. There we go. Let's have a look at our BR breeze. Are you on your way? Yeah, you are. We've got big flaming things here, and we'll, we'll see it come into the platform, I hope. Oh, it's going to take him forever. We could just look down here, couldn't we? I'll just end it, Gran. Oh, get on board, you, you silly man. This side, this way. Not that way. This way. No, don't. Don't rename it. Although, if anybody wants to be uh, named after this train, drop a comment below. What I want to know, you, you're doing it again. This one, the arrow. Let's uh, let's watch our train go through the uh, fields here. That has been. Oh, that has been. <laughs> episode. Do you know that, that's a thumbnail right there, isn't it? There we go. I, I don't normally take the thumbnails. When, when we're watching. That has been episode... Oh, no, I, pre I pressed it. I pressed the thing. I pressed the thing. I've ruined the ending. Why do I? There we go. That has been episode 13. Uh, we're, we're smacking our face on a few trees there. That's all right. We have, uh, we have our ginormous oil refinery on the go. It is massive. We've got our cool little BR3 double header taking crude oil and we've got the double six class 65 taking the the barrels of oil to the tool works i think you can just hear the 65 going around the corner oh not quite perfect timing but not far off so join me on uh, later in the week when there's going to be another one this week where we'll be uh, we'll be setting up that cool passenger line and we'll be getting that quest done we'll also start delivering this to mesa this end product and uh, we'll get ourselves get ourselves the start of what is to be possibly a massive city we're also going to upgrade the train that's taking passengers around they already can't keep up so you know what we're putting on there another diesel looking forward to it so until then take care <laughs>